you think we can fight anti-Semitism also in college, not only in our Arab nations? I mean, in United States, in Europe, all over the world. First of all, many American colleges are very much funded billions of dollars by Qatar. The clear agenda of um, anti-Israel bias. Beyond that, we have a systemic situation with uh, postmodern colonialism where colonialist is bad and anything that resembles colonialist is bad. And we have uh, Israel colonizers. They, they completely ignore and reject the, the fact that this is our homeland and we're indigenous to this land. Unlike America, where they live and enjoy civil liberties, which is actually occupied by them and actually was originally Native American land. Um, unlike different places you know, in, in Europe where they're able to enjoy freedom of Western democracy enough to be able to express themselves openly and freely. That's something that they forget. Um, when you see college campuses supporting uh, people like recently the trend with the letter to America... Osama bin Laden. Is there more of a ridiculous thing that you can think of than a 21-year-old uh, person in a college campus that might be uh, LGBTQ <laughs> praising a uh, actual mass killer that like conducted the one of the worst terror attacks in history? It's ludicrous. It's it's insane. So the way to combat that is education. Will it take a day? Will it take two days? Will it take a month? No, it will take a long time, but it needs to be handled and it needs to be very, very looked at. The way that, that the, the younger generation is going is very dangerous. Education is not enough because in all the schools, at least in Europe and also in the United States, we learn in school anti-Semitism and Shoah and everything about the World War II. A lot of people forget history very quickly and history has a tendency to repeat itself. The only thing we can do at this point is keep fighting for the truth and keep showing people that hatred is not the way. Keep showing people that the right for us to live and defend ourselves is Israel, in Israel, is our right. And that's something that's never going to change.